trap it. Thank you. That's great. Thank you. Yours is nice too, Mike. Well, that's all right. <laughs> we actually did work out blues and greens, sort of nice kind of combinations. Well, good morning, good Melanie morning. and Michael, and congratulations on, si on shining through. I've been looking forward to this picture. And I enjoyed the heck out of it, really. Okay. Wonderful. Yeah, nice yeah, yeah. It just, uh, you know, it just kept me involved, and it's really good. And the two of you work so well together. Thank you. Melanie, your character in this movie is a movie buff. I mean, mm -hmm. she can just quote passages almost. When you were preparing for this role, did you look at some 1940s spy mm -hmm. thriller movies? I did. Which ones? The ones that are in the movie I looked at. And then, I mean, I thought personally, I've always been a spy thriller buff myself, so it, it wasn't very difficult to enjoy playing that role, you know? Which of the movies influenced your character, your portrayal? Um, I don't know if any of the movies really influenced my portrayal. I mean, I, I think all of them did. All of the, all of the information gathering that, that one does when you do a film influences your character. Yeah. No particular actress, though, or no, no. I've never done that because I feel like that's just going to screw me up if I try to emulate somebody else. You know. Michael, how about you? How did you prepare? Um, well, I prepared basically in the fact that there was a simplicity and uh, of the period. These '40s films had heroines and heroes, and a man was a man, a woman was a woman. You were courageous. Uh, and it was easier for me, number one, because I was a big fan of Melanie, so to act out a part uh, like this was, 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 was really joyful. Um, and I think what you do is you just, you rather, again, like Melanie, rather than picking particular pictures, you have a feeling. And one of the reasons why I think people are, are having such a strong response to Shining Through in this day and age is the idealism you know, of the emotions, uh, strong feelings of romance. And for me, after having done sort of more jaded, complicated parts or dark kind of movies, I was really looking forward to, to that aspect uh, of it. And certainly you see a lot of the old movies, but too, you can't really kind of copy an actor, but you do have the sense of the, of the stage that they used to take back then and, and the directness that they, they used to have. And it was, it was, it was fun rather than, than the kind of um, twisted kind of characters that we deal with in our contemporary films. Mm -hmm. One of the scenes I absolutely love is the going, the going away, goodbye scene. And it just is like out of Casablanca. You yeah. know, Melanie with the hat. It was a wonder, remember that night? Yeah. Was it, was it, it, there's also a thing that you're sitting there, remember that we were at the airport and the, it, was a, it was a cold night and the plane was there and, and it really is, you really feel like you're saying, you know, goodbye and, and yeah. you just feel, you, you feel it. it was a lot of fun, yeah. it was a lot of fun. How difficult was it to kiss her with the hat on? That was, we kind of worked on that for a while. The big one, <laughs> we had to work on that. The big one was the light, as I remember. The, the hat had a, you know, the big brim, and a lot of times you had to be careful being able to get light in those lovely eyes. But um, <laughs> also the wardrobe helps you a lot, too. Wearing a uniform was great. I hadn't worn, ever worn a uniform. It was just so much, uh, it was so much fun. What was it like filming in Berlin at the time you were there? because the reunification occurred while you were there, uh, Nazi uniforms, swastikas, that's all very inflammatory stuff to the Germans. Well, I don't know. I think it was, a, it was a very magical time there. It was a time of great freedom for all of those people. Think? I, th I think in a, in a strange way, uh, this, the whole World War II, which is really a background for this r romantic story, that, that happened when it did with reunification, that the memories of the past for the Germans wasn't as prevalent as the, the dreams for the future. Mm. Uh, and they, they were so optimistic, and there was such a joy, and they knew that we were making a movie, and they've come to acknowledge and accept their past much more than I think they, they ever have before. And I think they also could just have the sense that this, is, this has been a, a, backdrop, a backdrop for many sort of, you know, thriller, spy, romance pictures, you know, all through the years. So. I think they, they accepted it was a movie. You didn't sense any resentment or there were no incidents? No. no. It, there was, it was more, we, we were very fortunate. We were like the first people to ever shoot in East Germany. Uh, we filmed in, uh, in Leipzig uh, at, you know, at one time. 
And you have, you know, they call these skinheads. You know, you've got a certain and the group neo-Nazis. Yes. That, are, that exist, but they didn't really, <clears throat> uh, you know, affect us with the movie uh, that much. No, but you know, they did bomb Potsdam after we left. I mean, there really? was a big thing there after. Yeah. Some, of these, <laughs> some of these dissidents, you mean, yeah. bombed it? It got pretty wild, I guess, after we were gone. Not because we left, but it was getting pretty bad. But, you know, we, the, in Leipzig, we had 2,000 extras at one point, right? More. It was like this, we had the whole train station. Yes, the so, troops. With yeah. all the troops and, you know, all of that. And there was never a sense. But it was just so much fun because you, I had never been in a picture where you, where you just had this environment around you. I mean, it was so much fun to, to act because you just, it was like this whole other world. I had I never done a period picture uh, before. And, it's, and it makes it much easier about the emotions of love and losing one another and, and, and that. It was, it, was, it was very idealistic. It was almost, Michael, as if your father could have been in that movie in the 40s. It's true. Yeah. It's true. We were talking about that earlier. Uh, I think it's one of the things that you know Melanie and I have in common, both being second generation. It made it, although we didn't know each other that much before the picture started, about being comfortable with each other, uh, that you have that history and sort of like an understanding of what it's all about. Mm. It's been a fast six minutes, or maybe six and a half. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for your time, oh, and you. both of you, Melanie, Michael, wonderful performances. A movie I am so happy to recommend. Shining oh. through, see it. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks very much.